Okay, so this is the project we went over the other day. Again, it's gonna be eight pages, cover, back cover, and then two articles. One article is gonna be four pages, one will be two. We're gonna do a two page article layout today on um, okay, Monday. We'll do the four page um, just to kind of keep it going. And um, again, let me know if we have questions as we go. Um, Photos can be yours, illustrations can be yours, or you can also grab them from the internet. Likewise, the articles, um, you can write it, but I'm sure you're most likely gonna grab it from the internet. And I think we did that um, the other day. So the other day we found, I believe it was, let me get my screen down. This article kind of like being alive, somebody had some mountaineering kind of thing. I don't know, I read the whole article yet, but. Um, so we had that and we put that into our InDesign. Down here is some text. And I also grabbed the title and so forth off of here. Um, so I can use that in my InDesign. Again, this is about laying out and design, not necessarily writing. Okay, now I have a picture here and I don't know if it's good or bad or whatever, but, um, and you could do this too, right? This is Photoshop, right? You can obviously see that, right? They, the guy out here and somebody looks like they're falling and put it all together. So you can, of course, do this all in Photoshop. I'm going to, for the sake of, of um, speed, find just kind of find a, a, a picture or two that I can use. Now, before I worry about my photo, I got to think about my layout. So what you want to do is kind of go through, and I just have a Google here of magazine layouts. Um, and just kind of getting looks and feels. There's a bazillion ways to do this. Um, and again, I don't want you to invent things. I want you to kind of work and emulate. And what I could tell you is even if you pick something like this article and you can see the text kind of cascading down the mountain, you're gonna do it your own way, all right? And, and a lot of these are, um, you'll see online tutorials and stuff. So you're gonna see here, put text here, or you're going to see it where it's not really real text. It's kind of like sometimes dummy text. Uh, I want you to use real text, again, related to what we're doing. Okay. So I want you to, again, take, take some time. We've got, you know, two weeks before this is due to kind of go through and find some layouts that work for you, that work for the kind of look and feel you're trying to um, generate in your publication. Okay. And then once you find that, um, it's just a matter of kind of copying that over so you can visually look at that and work that through into a reference for your publication. Okay, so I'm just gonna look here real quick, see if I can find something. Here's something on magazines. They got, again, they have some table of contents. We're not doing that. And they've got um, a story here. Again, this is kind of, you can see it's all dummy text, looks like, yeah. Um, over here and then there's a two-page spread here so again what am i looking for you're looking for a two-page spread so um hang on, that's not too bad let me just double check here just again just looking quickly to see what's kind of jumping out at me with what we're doing um all right let's i like these these are kind of nice and clean so i'm going to save this uh, download the follows. All right, so we've got that saved up and we're gonna put that into there. All right, so um, coming back to InDesign, we've got, we dropped this in. So this is our, basically our, our, our goal, right? We're gonna look at this and we're gonna go, I'm doing a two page layout, right? This is nice. This is kind of nice. This is kind of, so I'm just kind of picking what I want. This one's got two photos, a little pull quote, a caption, and then the story starts over here. Um, I'm gonna go with this kind of, just a nice big picture and a, you know, story here. Okay, now again, I'm not worried about the story being complete um, as we, we download that article. If it would continue on, it would continue on, okay? But I'm looking at the layout. Okay, so that's what we're working towards is, is proper and some good layouts that get you into the habit of doing this as we start. So finding reference 
going to be a key point there. Does that make sense, guys? Finding the references? Grab them, put them in a folder, put them someplace that you can kind of look at them. So when you're, you're designing, you're like, okay, picture, article, two columns, nice little headline up here. Okay, or big picture at the top with the article headline or article title, and then four little columns here. It's just kind of getting that into your head so you can work that out. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So um, we've got the photo and I, I, I downloaded a photo the other day. Um, I was looking for a vertical mountain photo and I grabbed one and here it is here in Photoshop. So again, don't be afraid just because you downloaded a photo, man, you can't go do something with it, right? I can kind of do this, you know, and I might even go a little crazy. Let me just do something invert. It's going to be like bizarre, right? I mean, we're talking about this idea of this person falling. Why not, right? Go a little nuts with it. What can, well, you know, what can you do to make that picture a little more, um, I don't know, uh, a little more fun, right? I mean, that's really what we're doing here. And I'm just going to like play with it a little bit. And I'm just going to make it, well, yeah, maybe, maybe the red. Let me see if my reds will come out. I'm going to do red because, right, the guy, the article's about somebody falling down a mountain. That's kind of a tragic thing. I'm just kind of looking here. I got reds and blues, always good combinations. Um, so we went from that to this. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to save as. Right? And I, I normally JPEGs are fine to bring into an InDesign document. And I'm putting it into my folder so I know where it is. I want to do the largest quality, best quality. Um, in this case, it's 12 maximum. Boom. And then um, over here, we can close this off. And now we can start to bring it in. So we have the command D, right? File, place, either way. And we did this one here. Boom, that's in, we dropped it in. Now we can we can fit it depending, and we could just check our fitting. Looks like it's gonna fit perfectly fine in there. Um, we have a little bit of a, a, a bleed. So that, again, that goes off the page like we did with our, our cover. So when we print this, if they were to cut this off by a fraction of an inch, we're not gonna get weird things going on. And then it goes in here to the middle of the gutter, okay? So when they print, because when they print, they print pages side by side. It may not line up with that page depending on how they fold, staple, bind, this kind of thing. So we've got that over here. And then again, we're looking at our reference here. Actually, let me show you something else that while we're here, I'm gonna make this a black and white. Um, And I think, I think if I do as a TIFF, it'll do that. I'm just want to, I want to see if this is still working in InDesign. There's a way that you can actually colorize photos here. Um, I'm going to replace, I did that here as a TIFF. Okay. So what, what they had was I could do a fill. Let me see if it does it before I. So, oh yeah, see, look at that, it's amazing. Ah, it does still. So if you save a black and white, and it may work as a JPEG, I'll double check that also, but you can color tint those in. Um, I told you I'm in class. In I'm in class. I wouldn't have bothered you. Just okay, so feel free to, you know, again, if you want to get creative, that's another way you can do that is to, save it as a black and white and then you can bring in a kind of color tints it here it maybe not the best example of that but it does work and let me just check while we're here if i save this as a jpeg if that will also let you color tint it
it used to be in the old days, olden days, we would do this in order to save money because it was very expensive to do four color printing. So what we would do is we would do like black in one color. So black and, you know, magenta or cyan or something like that, just one color. Um, so kind of a spot color. But we would take our pictures and we would make them black and white. And then we would color tint them in here. So we could, yeah, it is working. Let's double check it. Um, so we, we could kind of save money. Yeah, so it did as a JPEG. So JPEG black and white or TIFF, either one will work. Um, again, it, it, it was an old, it was a kind of a designer way of, of getting color into something that was basically black and white. Um, so companies didn't want to pay for a full color printing. So we would convince them to do, hey, let's do one color. Um, you know, so it'd be like, you know, a, an accent color someplace in the brochure. And then as we did that, we could also accent color our photographs to um, give it a color. Because they wouldn't, they couldn't afford or didn't want to pay for printing full color. Luckily, luckily in today's world, um, that's not a problem. Almost everything is done full color. So, but that's a cheap way if you want to do it, if you're trying to, or, or again, get creative. You can pull in black and whites. All right, so we've got our photo in. And again, we're looking at this one here. It's kind of our inspiration. And again, I don't know what typefaces they're using. They're using a sans serif here. And I can't tell even what that is there. But we can start to lay this out. So I've got the um, two page or the two column. So I'm just kind of making that one, pulling that over. I'm lining up with my guides. And then I'm going to actually make a secondary text box. Okay. And I'm going to take my text here. I got the number, I got that red square with the cross in it. And I've clicked it and loaded it. So now we're transferring uh, the text over. Okay, so it's coming over to this side. And now we can start to format and get our columns the way we want. I'm gonna look at this. They got a pretty decent margin at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna lessen it a little bit. So I'm gonna pull this down a little bit here. I'm gonna pull this one up. And as I pull up, you see I get a little green. That's basically telling me that I'm lined up now. Now again, I'm not worried about this going to another page. It would in theory. Um, but things I'm gonna look at is this is kind of large. This was something else that came through with the um, copying that I didn't want. And then we're pretty good here and here, but I've got this blank line up top. So I wanna get rid of that. I wanna kind of get things to line up and we're lining up right along there perfectly. Um, this is justified with the last line. Um, unjustified. This is with a rag, meaning we've got that edge. If I look back here, it looks like we've got a pretty smooth side here. So that means we're justified with the last line unjustified. So I'm going to bring that back into case. Okay, that's there. And again, we're just going through and then I'm going to pick a, a typeface. And this has got this came through and I'm going to put in something else. Again, this is where you can take the time and, and work with your, your fonts that you have. Uh, you can go through the Adobe collection, download some stuff. Remember, you want something that's kind of legible, like this is a, a script, not legible, right? It takes too long to read. Um, that might be fine for a headline, okay? But from a, a standard of body copy, that's too much. Same thing with something decorative, like this ABBA, right? You can see it's just kind of, it's fun, and it might work well for a title, um, but it doesn't work for a copy. So normally you're gonna be a serif, sans serif in there. Um, you could have a little bit of, of flair to it, but again, don't wanna overly do it. And you don't wanna go with something like this. It's, it's a nice font, but it's all caps, okay? Um, just like in texting, if it's all caps, it's kind of screaming at you. Um, and it's just harder to read. 
because we are we are been conditioned to read letters up and down, and those letters kind of come together to um, make us see things. And in fact, you know, many words we read even before we've read them properly read them just because we've seen them so many times. That's why you can, that's why you miss spelling mistakes because you're so used to reading it that if it gets smell, spelled wrong, um, you just kind of keep reading thinking it's right. All right, so I'm gonna find, um, and I don't, I don't want something too condensed. Well, this one's got a hundred different typefaces, holy cow. I don't know how I downloaded that one. That was nuts. Um, you don't want something too um, condensed. So this is condensed where it's kind of, they're tight. Again, it makes it a little bit harder to read. And likewise, you wanna kind of watch whether you have too much expanded, kind of spreads it out. That may or may not work, it depends on it. But look at the typefaces as you go to see if it's working. Um, and that's not too bad. I'm just gonna go with, uh, there's a lot here. This is nice. This is a, like, just like a designer's dream, this typeface, where you can come in and out. You can, you know, you got the regular, you've got the bold, you got the lights, um, lights condensed. Again, watch, see that's a narrow, thin narrow, look how tight that is. It really becomes tough to read. Okay, now I can expand it out to make it better, track it out, but um, I can just tell you, just kind of fighting against yourself um, with that. So pick your typefaces that will read. Um, if you want a little bit fancier for something like a headline, that's totally fine. Um, da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay. And a book is just kind of one of these ones that they feel like it's been set up for a book or, or the 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 body copy type of thing. So I'm going to look at this, and we're not too bad here. I do have a what looks like a should be a paragraph. So I'm going to hit the return there. That should have come in play. Looking up here, I'm looking at my edges, looking for hyphens. Make sure I don't have anything that's too weird um, or something that's kind of just kind of throw things off or really maybe shouldn't be um, hyphenated. Everything there was looking fine. Um, so we're gonna call that pretty good. Okay, now we need to do the um, headline. So again, we could use all the same typefaces if we want. I'm gonna pick, pick it up with something different. Um, so let me just go do a quick, quick scroll. So in here, again, you can see where we could potentially use a script or a handwritten font or something, because um, we are going to be bigger. Right now it's at 12 point, but I can guarantee you I'm going to be making that a bit larger. You can even do something decorative if you wanted to. That could be done. Okay, maybe not for the whole thing, maybe just for the, the top line, which is the, the title, and the other is kind of a subhead title. Um, just looking through. And again, the type should be kind of matched to feel and you know, hopefully the article that's going on. Just look in here, give me one more second. We'll settle. Yeah, I can tell you this, like sometimes it's the hardest part, it's just kind of finding the, the typeface that you feel works the best uh, for what you've got. I'm just gonna hit this bolt in here. Computer's thinking. Hopefully not crashing, just thinking. All right. So it gave me a weird warning there. That's obviously a sign that that better be hitting save command S because something might go wrong quickly. All right, so I'm gonna highlight just the, um, the headline itself. 
I'm gonna just kind of bump it up. Let's see how far we wanna go. It's probably a little bit too big. Gonna pull that up a little bit. And then we've got the subhead here. I'm gonna enlarge that a little bit. I'm just manually going up. I'm going to increase the letting a little bit. So I've got a little bit of space there. And then I'll see what else. Maybe I'll do the, um, the italic. And I'm gonna come back up here and I think I'm gonna go with this with a bold, thicken it up. And I'm gonna um, increase, I'm gonna track it out a little bit. Okay, so I can, I'm getting a little, a little more space between the letter forms. All right, so I push it out to 25. You can see if I can go up to 200, right? Really stretches it out and will kind of mess with your um, lineup or your, your layout. And that's not too bad, that's kind of nice. So we've got this big headline, all right, subhead here, and then we've got the article itself. Now to look at this, to check it all out, we've got, again, we've got all the boxes turned on with the normal view, um, come to preview. And now you can see that layout uh, without the other items in it, right? Even that stuff that's off the page that we're kind of referencing kind of goes away. Um, not too bad. You know what? I'm thinking I might want to um, flip this. I want to flip this thing. There we go. I just changed the picture. Who knows how that mountain looks, right? I mean, I don't even know what mountain that is. I did it because I didn't like how it was kind of coming in here. And then I like the fact that now it's kind of bringing me over. So let me undo that, let me flip that back. So right now I'm feeling like it's pushing me down, right? I got this big gap and it's pushing me down here instead of kind of leading me up. There's a little bit of lead, but it's, it's not leading me as much as I think it does when I flip that picture. And I feel like it's leading me up a little bit more. Yeah, the darker colors definitely draw your eye more. Right. So I again, look at these things, guys. Do you, you know, like in this case, it doesn't matter. If it's a person, watch it because trust me, you everybody's got stuff in there. Like there's a name or there's stuff that you're like, oh, the pocket's not on that side of the shirt. It's always on this side of the shirt. So be careful with people. Um, and then when you have areas where we have signage and all that kind of stuff, you'll see it. Occasionally you'll see it like, oh my God, they flipped the picture. And now there's the signs are all backwards. Okay. So be, be again, be careful of that. But um, something like a mountain like this, yeah, I don't know. I don't, you know, I mean, if it's something like maybe half dome or something, something that's really incredibly iconic, you might get it. But who knows? I think this is just a generic mountain. Um, it's not going to make a big difference whether I flipped it one way or another. Um, but there you see it within, you know, a short amount of time we've got one of the two articles done. All right, so if we go back to our pages, you can see that one's done. Now we've got these four pages to do, and then we've got our back cover to do. Our cover was done the other day, okay? With that, um, all right, so we're on our way, right? I think two weeks will be definitely fine with you know, finishing this kind of project up. Questions so far? Questions today? Again, I'm not gonna, not gonna keep you guys. Let me just double check my attendance here. Mm. Okay, now we can... Yeah, no, I'm, a, I'm feeling pretty good on it, honestly. Okay. Like, yeah, the assignments both seem manageable. But also, okay. it feels a lot like just writing papers in general. So, like, it's just kind of like a neat way to organize everything. So, I, I like it a lot. And I'm probably going to start Good. trying to use this for where I can. Okay. Everybody else okay with that? All right. Um, so, the um, the project specs are up on the website. I, I, I was having problems with the website, but I think I got it fixed now. So, if you were going to the website, and let me just double check. 
if you were going there or having problems, I believe I'm, we're good now. I, I went online to my technical support people and looks like we're up. There was some, I don't know, some code, bit of code need to be added to some H oh. HSC. Who the heck knows, right? I mean, if I know. It looked like a, if it was the thing where the website was just like black, it looked like it was a little error, but I think it's good now. Yeah, yeah, it should be. I, I, haven't, I don't have any flash or anything in it, but there was one I had to make it link into the SSL. So that should stop. But there was some other weird code that I had to drop in. So I think we're good after spending some time on the phone with technical support today. Um, all right. Well, guys, have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you all. Um, you know, be safe. Enjoy the food. Uh, and enjoy the family. Thank you. You too, guys. Right. Just relax a little bit. We got time to get this done. Posters do what I think is Wednesday next week. So, um, you know, you get yeah, time December first. Yeah, that should be one day. All right, All right. See you then. All right, guys. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Have a Thanksgiving. Are writing our own articles or do we need to go online and find one just to pick off? I'm sorry, you say something? Yeah, sorry. I was asking, um, are we writing our own articles or are we going online and just picking them? Oh, no, them go online and, and grab them. If you want to write them, I'm not, don't let me stop you, but yeah, go online and grab them. We're, we're designing, laying out. We're not, it's not English class. Okay, well, thank you so much. Hope okay. you have a good week. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.